Hello and welcome to a new screencast on GlassFish, specifically the JDBC monitoring features for GlassFish 3.1 Milestone 4. Let me go through a number of JDBC features that made it into the previous version of GlassFish. Ping allows you to, when you create a connection pool, make sure that uh, it is valid and you can access the database. Uh, we added the ability to flush the connection pool so you don't have to recreate it. Uh, we have pooling for drivers based on the driver class. We have the ability to disable pooling altogether to do statement caching. But we also have things like custom validation, the ability to uh, execute arbitrary SQL code when initializing, and introspection into drivers so you don't need to remember the JDBC driver name. And we also added things like tracing SQL statements that go over the wire. Now, the other things that we are adding now in 3.1 are, for example, statement caching, uh, where you can observe hits and misses for the statement cache. Uh, another feature is statement leak tracing, uh, which reports the number of statements that the developer has not closed in the application. SQL tracing is now enhanced with the ability to list the top queries for a specific connection pool during a given uh, period of time. And finally, monitoring is now uh, able to be done on a per application basis, looking at the connections that are used, acquired, and released. Now moving on to GlassFish 3.1 for the recent milestone, uh, we have uh, deployed an application called JDBC Statement Caching Hit Miss, which has a near with an EJB and a client that will drive the testing. We also uh, have configured a JDBC connection pool, uh, which here is listed under JDBC Statement Caching Hit Miss Pool. And um, one thing you can do here is using the dotted notation, which I mentioned, is do a get dash monitor server.resources, the name of that pool, and a wildcard. Now you can um, grab and filter out the statement cache and you will see that there's both the hit and miss uh, cache information there. So let's now run the test application. Uh, the application obtains a connection, prepares six statements, out of which the first and the last one have the same SQL query. A series of tests are then executed for hits and misses to the statement cache. And now uh, the test uh, concludes and passes. So now we can check still with that same dotted notation uh, on server.resources, the name of the connection pool. And now uh, the number of statement cache hit count, um, which is here eight, which is what was returned during the test. We can also, of course, test for miss uh, count. So moving on to demo the statement leak trace monitoring feature, uh, we uh, now have uh, another application that was deployed, which in this case is called EJB Statement Wrapper. Uh, we also have another um, connection pool, which pools in this case is QLJCB pool. Um, we can uh, still using that dotted notation server.resources. the name of the pool uh, dot wildcard grab for everything that's related to leaks. And in this case, we'll have the connection leaks, which is a feature that have has been available in GlassFish for a while, but also the statement leak information. Let's now exercise the application uh, with another test scenario, which gets a statement intentionally forgets to close that statement. Um, this is done for a statement, prepare statement, and cache statement objects, uh, with two statements for each. Uh, that should be a total of six uh, leaks observed. So indeed, that's what we have here. Uh, now we can double check this using again the dotted notation with uh, or just going back through the previous command and for that pool requesting the number of potential statement leak count and we do have six here indeed. Uh, 
So these are two of the uh, four features that are new in GlassFish 3.1. So I encourage you to download GlassFish today, uh, the recent milestones, try it for yourself and give us feedback. Thank you.